about 53 days ago, I brought in about 2,400 pieces of standard heteroclerous juveniles and I put them in a nursery pond. Now, in the course of 53 days, they've consumed 150 kilograms of fish food, that is 10 bags of this cretin 2 mm. Now, today being the 54th day, I want to sort them into categories. So a few things I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to count, I want to know the percentage loss, I want to know the weight gain, so that I will be able to know the feed conversion ratio for the two mm catfish feeds in the course of 53 days. Come and see the sizes. Look at, let me bring out some. Look at their sizes. You can see from this video now, you will see the reason why sorting of fish is very, very important. Now, there are different sizes, though they came in well sorted. Now, after 53 days, you can see that there is no uniformity in the growth of these fish. So right now, we want to do that. We want to sort them into categories. So I'm going to be stocking these into different ponds. So I'm expecting different categories. The small ones will be together. The big ones will be together. The medium sizes will be together. So this is what we want to do today on the farm. And this is the nursery pond. We're already draining the water. We want to bring out all the fish. So here is our nursery pond that measures about four meters by four meters, where we kept the 2,400 pieces of catfish, heteroclerous juveniles that we bought at the rate of 100 naira each, which cost us about 240,000 on the 1st of July 2024. And today being 23rd of August, after 53 days, we've decided to bring everything out and sort them. So in the cost of 53 days, they've consumed about 10 bags of the 2 mm scratching fish food, which I got from the feed store at the rate of 31,500 per bag and each bag weighs about 15 kg. So the total of 10 bags weighs 150 kg. And the total cost of the 10 bags is 306,300 Naira. I spent about 40,000 to prepare and net the nursery pond. And I paid the guys 20,000, the guys that helped me with the harvesting and sorting, which went to a total cost of 240 for fish, 306, 300 for fish feeds, preparation for 40,000 and the harvesting and sorting 20,000. Since we are just bringing out the fish from a nursery pond, what I'm doing right now is sorting them into three categories. I've sorted the biggest one, the next size and the smallest of them all. So I have prepared three standard ponds where I'm going to put them. Then we grow them out to table sizes because I'm targeting the very big sizes from about four five six to seven kg after sorting the whole fish and we measured everything we got about 184.75 kg and the initial weight which was 14.4 kg was removed from 184.75 which gave us 170.35 so calculating the fcr fcr simply means feed conversion ratio it is a conventional way of measuring the efficiency of livestock production now, the formula for FCR is the input fish feeds divided by the weight gain. Here, we fed the fish in the course of 53 days with 10 bags, and the total weight of 10 bags is 150 kg. So, 150 kg is our input fish feeds. And we got 170.35 kg as the weight gain after we've removed the initial weight from the total weight. So, now 150 kg divided by 170.35 we got 0 0.88, that is, the feed conversion ratio, the value is 0 0.88, because the, the lower the value of the FCR, the higher the efficiency of the production. That means the 10 bags of the scratching fish feed that we use, the performance is about 113.55%, which is a very good one. One of the reasons why I think this performance is like this is because there was a time I introduced some wolfia and nazola into the pond. So there was too much wolfia and nazola in the pond, and the fish were somehow feeding on the wolfia and nazola, 
but I needed this fish to consume more of fish feed. So later on, I removed the wolfia and azola. So the performance of these feed feeds might be aided by the quantity of the azola they must have consumed in the course of the few days that I left the azola in the pond. Now, about the number of pieces that I got after stocking 2,400 pieces of juvenile for 53 days, I need to contact my breeder. I think maybe he did mistake in counting or maybe he had extra fish for me because after harvesting this fish, I still got more than 2,400. I got about 2,437. I think maybe he must have added about 240 pieces extra for me. I, I guess I will have to call him because I am dealing with honest breeders that cannot cheat me when it comes to counting and making sure I have my complete fish. Yeah, this is my first baby helping me out. I need to let them have interest in fish farming. Now, I got this one single fish. This one is very big and is the only fish predator inside this category. I had to move it to a separate pond where I have fish that is like this size. So after sorting the fish into three different batches because I have prepared three ponds for them in which I'm going to be sorting them into for grow out. So in the first batch, I got 74.05 kg and the total pieces of 649. In this category, a single fish weighs about 114 grams and I valued it at 428 naira per fish. In the second batch, I got 78.7 kg, which gave me about 975 pieces. In this category, the average weight is about 80 grams and I valued each fish at the rate of 300 naira, 3 naira per fish. Now, in the third batch, I got 32 kg, which is the smallest, and I got about 813 pieces of fish in 32 kg. And the average weight is 40 grams. I valued each one of these 40 grams at 148 naira per fish. We spent about five hours in the course of harvesting, counting, sorting, measuring, and making sure each of the fish batches are well protected in the pond, in the grow out pond that we transfer them to because we need to be detailed in our recording. We need to be sure of what we are doing. We, need, we keep this so that we can have good records to refer to, because at the end of the day, we are doing this so that we can make profit from the money we've invested. And now, all what we have done so far in the course of the 53 days is a child's play compared to what we are about to start, because for the past 53 days, we've only spent about 600,000 on the fish and the feeding and all. Now, the real deal is about to start. This is where the real farming starts. Now, for example, now look at the first batch that gave us 74.05 kg. We got about 649 pieces of fish from that first batch. Now, imagine if we budget 10,000 Naira on feeding for each of these fish. That is over 6 million Naira. For the second batch, where we have over 900 pieces, that's 975 pieces. If we budget 10,000 per fish, that is over 9 million Naira. So please note that feeding is very important in catfish farming. Before you venture into catfish farming, if you don't have money, it's not a child's play. Please don't buy the small fish because they are cheap. The main deal is the ability to feed them, the ability to stock up feed and buy the fish feeds in bulk and be able to feed. So please, if you have money that you are not using, just come and give me. Let me use it to farm fish so that we can make more money with the money. Thanks for watching. And this is where we are putting the fish, the 649 pieces, into one of the ponds where we intend to grow them to a very massive sizes and later we'll harvest them, smoke them, dry them.